I reached the peak of what I was able to do riding off of moments of inspiration and brilliance and long periods of recovery and feeling lost and feeling like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Like balance isn't a state that you maintain constantly. It's like an accumulation over a lifetime. Like, did you lead a balanced life? You know, and because the, there could be years where you're in a sprint. But there must be years then, you know, where you're in recovery and decompression. And I think part of the entrepreneurial journey is trusting your own self and your own vision and who you are and not being not doing it in an arrogant way where you won't listen or you get emotional or you have to like, but you listen, you're able to listen and say, you know, it's an interesting idea. Thank you for the idea. But you're not compelled or you don't feel like you need to respond to anybody because you trust yourself. So many entrepreneurs, myself included, get used to that ramp up grind. And then getting out of that mode is almost more difficult than the passion and the motivation to get something started. And so the question, like once you have the money, once you have the girl, once you have the abs, once you have the car, well, what's next? And so. Well, let me ask the guy who has all those things. <laughs> let me ask Aubrey. What, so, com what comes next is you run out of things that you can chase to actually find your happiness. Perpetual action is distraction. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're continuing to move and continuing to do stuff, you're continuing to validate yourself. So you're providing external validation for your own self-love and self-worth. And that's something that's core at a lot of entrepreneurs is this need to validate yourself externally. You know, part of what you learn is, okay, those things are awesome, cool. And I'm glad I played the game that way and I appreciate that I'm in the place that I am, but they didn't give me the happiness that I was chasing. They didn't release the anxiety that I carried. They didn't buffer me from the depressions that I had. I know so many entrepreneurs who get to the multi-million dollar level, but don't really ever give themselves the permission to back off. And this has become well, I, I don't know if they're comfortable. I don't know if they're comfortable backing off. I don't know if they're comfortable knowing the self, not in motion. It's like playing, how many of you guys played like Monopoly? You can play Monopoly and there's some people, do you, anybody ever play with someone who played Monopoly like it was fucking for reals? <laughs> <laughs> like it was like, this really fucking mattered and then put them in a funk, you know, if they didn't win or they would get like super emotionally invested. Well, that's, that's cool. But ultimately it was a game of monopoly, <laughs> you know, and like part of the fun was getting your emotions involved and part of the fun of life is, you know, dealing with the emotional dance and that's all cool. But like to really be able to look and say like, yeah, I'll play monopoly to win. But if I don't, that's cool too. People are attracted to abundance. You know, and that's something that you feel that's not externally, you know, it, it's not externally validated. Again, it's internal. Like if you are in a place where you have more to give, people are going to be attracted to you. That's more presence to give, more love to give, more resources to give, more influence, whatever it is. But that's, that's an internal state. And if you're hungry and scarce and starving, you'd be like, whoa, 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 because they can see that you're in take mode. And I think that's, the invitation that we all have is to be able to yeah fucking play monopoly like go try to get all the properties build all the hotels like do all that sure but no it's still monopoly you know like know that you're still playing a game it's just actually the game of life and um i think that's really the thing that achieving all of these external validation symbols and still not finding my peace and happiness is showing me because I don't think I've learned all the lessons, but that's what it is showing. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran from capitalism.com. We help entrepreneurs build seven figure businesses. When you're ready for us, we'll be ready for you. And you can start your journey at capitalism.com start.